Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Gallimimus. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Gallimimus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Mongolia during the late Cretaceous period, about 70 million years ago. Several fossils in various stages of growth were discovered by Polish Mongolian expeditions in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia during the 1960s. A large skeleton discovered in this region was made the holotype specimen of the new genus and species Gallimimus bulatus in 1972. The generic name means chicken mimic referring to the similarities between its neck vertebrae and those of the galliforms. The specific name is derived from bulla, a gold capsule worn by Roman youth, in reference to a bulbous structure at the base of the skull of Gallimimus. At the time it was named, the fossils of Gallimimus represented the most complete and best preserved ornithomimid material yet discovered, and the genus remains one of the best known members of the group. Gallimimus is the largest known member of the family Ornithomimidae. The adult holotype was about 6 meters long and 1.9 meters tall at the hip, its skull was 33 centimeters long and the femur was 66 centimeters. It would have weighed about 440 kilograms. In comparison, one juvenile specimen was about 2.15 meters long, 0.79 meters tall at the hip, and weighed about 26 kilograms. Based on fossils of the related Ornithomimus, it is known that Ornithomimosaurs ostrich dinosaurs were feathered, and that the adults bore wing-like structures as evidenced by the presence of quill knobs on the ulna bone of the lower arm, bumps that indicate where feathers would have attached. The snout was long compared to other Ornithomimids, although it was broader and more rounded at the tip than in other species. Gallimimus was toothless with a keratinous beak, and had a delicate lower jaw. The neck was proportionally long in relation to the trunk. The hands were proportionally the shortest of any ornithomimosaur and each had three digits with curved claws. The forelimbs were weak while the hindlimbs were proportionally long. First Gallimimus fossils were found during the Polish-Mongolian expedition to Gobi Desert, between the years of 1963 and 1965. Among the Nemeorus dinosaurs collected, many of them were ornithomimids, including Gallimimus. Three partially complete skeletons, two with skulls, as well as many fragmentary remains, were collected. The largest skeleton, that later to become the holotype of Gallimimus bulatus, was discovered by paleontologist Sofia Keelan Jaworska in Zyg in Kushu in 1964, it was preserved lying on its back, and the skull was found under its pelvis. Another fossil was found in 1967, it was a small skeleton missing forelimbs. All of the fossils were found were found in the Nemagd Basin region of Mongolia. Fossil poaching has become a serious problem in Mongolia in the 21st century, and several Gallimimus specimens have been looted. In 2017, Hang Ye Li and colleagues reported a fossil trackway discovered in 2009 associated with a clenched Gallimimus foot. The rest of the skeleton appeared to have been removed previously by poachers, along with several other Gallimimus specimens. As an old Gallimimus would have been a animal, used to predators, its been estimated at 42 to 56 per hour. This would let it run away from predators, as for example the raptor's top speed is estimated to be about kilometers per hour, or Tyrannosaurus, that could reach about kilometers per hour. However this make Gallimimus fastest dinosaur, Taurus could match speed with estimates of about 48 to 50 kilometers per hour, or to 60 kilometers per hour speed, which are lived at the same time as Gallimimus. Luckily for Gallimimus, it was able to run 
go with top speed than average meaning that would outrun them via any as to compare it to modern animals galley able to run as fast as average wolf which could reach speed 55 kilometers per hour however as far as rich that can reach about it is due to the fact that tail and Gallimimus lived speed. The head of Gallimimus was very small and light compared to the vertebral column. Due to the length of its snout, the skull was long compared to other ornithomimids, and the snout had a gently convex slope profile. The profile of the snout differed from other ornithomimids in towards its and the lower front margin of the pre front of the upper rose upwards, instead of being horizontal. The delicate lower jaw, consisting of thin bone, was slender and shallow at the front, deepening towards the rear. The front of the mandible was shovel resulting in a gap between the tips of the jaws when shut. The shovel-like shape was similar to that of the gull. The beak may have had a shape similar to that of this bird. The jaws of Gallimimus were toothless, part would have covered in a keratinous horny beak in life. The front part of the neck of Gallimimus would have been very mobile with the high part was more rigid, the neural arches in the that region be similar to chicken and in similar feeding habits. The neck of Gallimimus was similar to that of a duck or goose, and that it would have fed on small, living prey which it swallowed whole. The mobility of the neck would have been useful in on the ground since the eyes were positioned on the side. They assumed that all ornithomimids had similar bits, pointed out that Russell had compared the beaks of ornithomimids with those of insectivorous birds. Paleontology suggested that Gallimimus was capable of which allows individual bones of the skull to move in relation to each other. They also proposed that it did not use its short-handed forelimbs for bringing food to the mouth, but for raking or digging in the ground to access food. However some pathologists argue, that Gallimimus might have been or omnivore, as stretches in the great houses, the skulls of ornithomimus were similar to those of the extinct mowers, which were strong enough to bite off twigs, as evidenced by their gut content.